In this video, we will be exploring the use of pivot tables using the band members table. Pivot tables are used to summarize large amounts of data in an easy to read format. To create a pivot table, I will go to the insert tab and click on pivot table, the first button on the left. My table was automatically selected and you can see the table name here as band roster. I then have the option to put my pivot table in a new worksheet or I can place it in the existing worksheet. I will choose the default which is to place the pivot table in a new worksheet. On the left hand side you can see the layout area where my pivot table will appear. On the right, we have the pivot table field list. In the checkboxes, we have all of the fields that were in our table. At the bottom, we have the different layout areas where we can add our fields, row and column labels, values, and report filter. To add a new field to the pivot table, we can check off the fields on the field list, or we can drag the field directly into one of the layout areas. I will show the instrument, and scholarship amount fields. The instrument field went to the row labels box and the scholarship amount went into values. Looking at our newly created pivot table, you can see the instrument appears on the left in the rows and the sum of the scholarship amount is shown for each instrument. Next, I will add the class field to the pivot table. This shows in the row labels box as well by default. I can also rearrange the order of the fields. Right now the instrument field is shown first and then within each instrument we see the scholarship amount by class. If I drag class to the top of the row labels box, I see that now the class appears first in my pivot table. I can also change the look of my pivot table by moving fields between the row and column label areas. Let's take a look at what happens when a field is placed under column labels. To move the class, I will click and drag the field. Now the class appears along the top of the table in the columns. Now let's look at the values box. Be sure that you always place any values that you have into this layout area. This is the meat of the pivot table and this is the information that appears in the middle of the table. To edit this information, left click on the field and choose value field settings. From this menu you can change the name of the field as it appears in the pivot table. You can also choose how you want to summarize this field. Right now we are showing the sum, but we can just click on another option. Let's show the max or maximum scholarship amount. At the bottom of the menu we see the number format button. This will take us to the format cells dialog box which should look familiar to you. I will show the scholarship amount as currency with zero decimal places. Lastly, we have the Report Filter Layout Area. This box allows us to filter our pivot table by a certain field. Let's move the Instrument field from the Row Labels to the Report Filter. Doing this will remove Instrument from the main pivot table and place it just above the table. Using the drop-down menu, we can choose to filter our data to show only certain instruments. To choose more than one instrument, click the Select Multiple Items checkbox. You may have noticed that when I first created the pivot table, two new tabs appeared on the ribbon, the Pivot Table Tools Options and Design tabs. I won't go through all of the options, but I do want to bring your attention to a few of them. On the Options tab, you will see the pivot table name on the left. We can give the pivot table a descriptive name, just like we did with our table. There is also a Field Settings button here 
just be sure that the field you would like to format is selected before you click on it. Sort buttons are available if you need to sort your data. The Refresh button allows you to update your pivot table to display the most recent information. If you have made changes or additions to your original data, you may need to click Refresh to update the pivot table. Pivot Chart allows you to show the data in your pivot table in chart format. I will choose a column chart. All of the tools you have available to you in any Excel chart are available for a pivot chart as well, so you can modify as needed. On the Pivot Table Tools Design tab, you have options to change the basic look of your table. You can change the color using the Table Style option. Using styles in Excel, you can create a presentation where your tables, pivot tables, and charts all complement each other. So now that you've learned a little about pivot tables, I recommend that you pull up some data from one of your assignments and try creating some pivot tables of your own.